Erin Lincoln here to show you how to put together this spatted bow booty using the baby booty detail dies and the baby booty dies which is the base for this booty we're embellishing it using the detail dies as you can see there is an autumn rose scalloped oval and a cute little bow to match the scarlet jewel felt so there's our booty let me show you what these dies consist of these are a set within the baby booty detail die collection. It's a way of making several different types of booties. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to take your booty topper here in Scarlet Jewel and this oval die that will only cut the holes into the baby booty topper. Run that through your machine and this gives us a way to stitch that eyelet oval into your baby booty all those holes punched out so nicely. Okay, next we're gonna create our little bow and that comes in two pieces, kind of the winged portion and the knot portion. It'll cut both the holes and the shapes. Just love it when all those holes come punched out so you don't have to do much work a little later on. See how they layer. The knot goes on top of the winged portion. Okay, now we're going to cut out autumn rose felt this scalloped oval or eyelet oval, which is the spat in the spatted bow booty. And there's some larger holes here to make up the eyelet portion that you need to make sure are out. And usually just by rubbing your fingers over them, you can uh, easily remove those. No needle involved. Fairly simple. All right, there's one last thing to prep this. This is to match the knot portion of the bow. And it's how we're going to attach the bow to the booty. And you're going to cut these holes into the oval eyelet. Eyelet oval. Ha! <laughs> Keep it all straight. All right, you're just going to put this aside for a second because you need to work on that bow first. Okay, this is the winged portion of the bow. It is one piece and go ahead with a running stitch and add the stitch detail all the way around. First you do running stitch in one direction and then you reverse and fill in the open spaces. Very simple. Just got to work yourself all the way around and back. It goes really quickly actually. Okay, I have done that. Everything's filled in that's going to be showing. And now I'm going to take what is supposed to be the knot in this bow just like that rectangular section. Lay it on top, matching up holes and matching up holes to the oval eyelet portion. So I'm going to be essentially stitching through three layers of felt here. And this is how you attach your bow to your booty. Again, just the running stitch in one direction and then the running stitch in the other direction, filling in the gaps. All right. When that's done, maybe you might want to take uh, you might want to change your floss color, and then you're going to stitch the oval eyelet or eyelet oval into the topper of your baby booty using the running stitch in one direction and the running stitch back. And when you get to where the bow is, the little wing of the bow, because it's not stitched down, you can just fold it back and only stitch into the oval, like so. There you go, all done. The topper is beautiful and when you follow the baby booty tutorial, it'll show you how to put the rest of your baby booty together to have this cute little formal look for a little girl. Isn't it cute? Now you can go without the bow and put something great, some sort of embellishment there on that oval bit. 
think there's lots of possibilities there. I haven't had a chance to explore them, but I'm looking forward to in the future. Okay. Thanks for checking out the Baby Booty Dies and the Baby Booty Detail Dies. They're available at Paper Tray Inc. on May 15th, 2014. Thanks!